Salute, General, Iro, Musa, Etiquette. I'm affectionately referred to as General Etiquette, and I've been thinking. I've been thinking about a variety of subject matter, but today specifically, I've been thinking about the condition of the black community, and more specifically, the dynamic that tends to exist between black men and black women. Now, admittedly, both sides have their grievances, right? Black men have their grievances with black women. Black women have their grievances with black men. But I think what's more important, right, than the throwing and the casting of the stones, because we've been doing that for quite some time, I think what's more important than the throwing of stones is the willingness to actually, right, sit down and hear the perspective of the other side and actually take steps, right, to not just become more respectable oneself, but in order, right, to set the type of lofty goals necessary for us to be deserving of the things we want in return, right? Because what's void of a lot of these conversations, right, a lot of the times it's just filtered with blaming, right, finger pointing, shaming, etc. But what's void of from a lot of these conversations are one, the self-accountability in the way that we show up as individuals. Because yes, as a collective, there is a way in which there are generalizations that can be applied and can be made applicable, right, to each, right, demographic, for every demographic in question. But at the same time, what we can do a lot more of is look at it as is black men and black women versus the problem, right? Black men and black women versus the problem, not black men versus black women, not black women versus black men. And I think oftentimes, right, the reasons why it may seem as if there's, so, there's a gender war of sorts going on is because the loudest voices amongst us, right, the most negative voices amongst us, the people, who enjoy the warring factions, the people who don't want to move toward a more progressive, healthier, and peaceful space between the sexes. Those people, right, those people are the loudest amongst us. And those people are the ones that are dominating the conversations. But at some point, we have to start to address in a more healthy right and effective manner the grievances on both sides and the accountability that can be taken in order to translate that into a healthier relationship but i wanted to chime in on that because there's various platforms whether that be clubhouse um, and or any other apparatus built and used for the exchanging of ideas businesses <clears throat> etc that people have been utilizing to facilitate conversations that I don't think has been the healthiest. Now, while there are healthy spaces, right, large in part, a lot of these conversations have been a back and forth <clears throat> of mudslinging, right? It's been shaming on both sides, right? And it's been extremism on both sides. And I think the centrists, right, and the people of more sound judgment and reasonable thought need to start facilitating these conversations and shaping the narrative because we are impacted based on the way the world sees us, right? So black men and black women getting on the same page is not just about us having happier and healthier communities and households. It's also about the way that we're engaged from the outside looking in because whether we care or not, right, the, the respect and the treatment is because you can't, no one respects people, right, who air their dirty laundry. And the black community, right, we've used social media and other social mass media platforms to air our grievances with one another constantly and in excess. And because of that, right, other communities have been able to see the disjointedness in our community, the fractured nature of our community. And then when we think about why we're exploited financially the way that we are, all of it is cyclical and all of it is interconnected. The way that we treat one another and the way that that's seen, right? The lack of our unity, 
all of these things impact the way in which we're engaged in the larger and greater communities. So in my humble opinion, I don't know that us coming to some sort of common good is even an option. I think it's a necessity. I think it's needed, absolutely. So I just wanted to come on here and say that because as I hop on um, platforms like Clubhouse, Instagram, and I thought, right, these apparatuses would have given us the ability to sort of transform the narrative and transform the conversations that are being had. I've noticed that a lot of them are still stagnant and rooted in mudslinging and um, blaming and shaming. And there's not enough accountability and real life actionable steps being taken and or being planned to be taken in order to correct this or find some level of correction. All right, so I wanted to hop on, right? Something that was on my mind. Um, please hop in the comments. Let me know what you think about the topic, the subject matter, my thoughts. If there's anything that you'd like me to talk about or comment on, please don't hesitate to ask me and I'll get to it. Um, at my earliest convenience, right? And as soon as I can. Um, so, like, comment, share, subscribe. And most of all, salute.